guys, I'm going to continue reading Ben's It's Jesse's Love Story, Chapter 7 and 8. I hope you guys enjoy. Jesse's point of view. He stepped towards me, causing me to step back, holding my hands out, trying to push him away. As my back hit the knee of the hit the bed, um, Ben, what are you doing? He chuckled, oh, nothing. He wrapped his hands around mine, giving me a shove. I fell backwards onto the bed. Falling forward, Ben pinned my hands down. Ben! Oh, please say my name a little louder. I love the way you say it. My face flushed red as he wanted for my neck to begin as he began kissing my neck down to Ben, no, stop. I made an attempt to get my hands unbind, which only made him pin them down even harder. He moved them so that he could could have free hand yet still pinning them down. He went from the hem of my shirt to the Pecking, which tangled or something in me that made me think to defend myself at all costs. Let go, Ben. He lifted my shirt slightly, chucking darkly and whispered in my ear, No. Now, I was just plain, plain mad. I said, Let go. I yelled, kneeing him in the stomach, causing him to scream from the queen and I respond my um, fist back pushing him off pushing him off me and punching him in the nose I quickly got up and ran out of the room and and grabbed the shirt that was off to the side quickly I ran down the stairs Ben soon followed quickly after me I ran into the, f- the front of the room looking for somewhere to hit him with or to hide. Soon I felt breath on my neck. I gasped as I turned around, swinging my arm- hands only for them to be caught. I was pushed onto the sofa g- before he... On the so- sofa behind me, I wanted to scream for help, but I was cut off by his lips, signaling to me once more. He pulled away once, and he made sure that I wouldn't scream. You, s- you still need to be punished for s- punished for slapping me. He smirked, picking me up, throwing me over his shoulders, walking back into my room. He sat down. He sat me down on the floor, locking the door, and he walked over to my bed, sitting down. Come here, Jesse. His tone was commanding and frightening me slightly, so I did as I was told. I went over to him. Now, bend over on my lap. What? No! He growled, suddenly pulling me over his lap. Forcefully successful. I soon felt tension as his hand came down my ass. I guess as my face was reddened in embarrassment. Bad girl. He brought his hand down a few more times. As soon as he asked me in a sexual tone, Have you learned your lesson? I quickly nodded as he pulled me up, sitting on in a sitting position on his lap. He grabbed my chin and kissing me, waiting for me to kiss back, which I soon did. He pulled away after a while, purring in my ear. Good girl. Chapter 8, Jesse's Point of View. The phone rang. Bang was out messing with people on Clear Route. I went and got, out, got to my phone. It was my friend, Max. Hello? Jesse, where have you been? I haven't seen you in weeks. Oh, I'm so sorry. If you're sorry, you'll come over right now. Okay, I'll be there in a little bit. But fine. I hang up the phone. I left a note for Ben just in case he came back before I was back. I headed out. Ben's part of you. I came home to see a note left by Jesse. Dear Ben, I went over to my friend's my friend Max house. I'll be back in a little while. Sincerely, Jesse. Max? Oh, hell no. 
He is going to steal Jesse from me. I thought in my head, headed out towards where Jesse, headed towards Jesse's computer. I arrived to see Matt, Matt waiting by the door for her. He had Assassin's Creed loaded up, guessing he was going to play video games with her. I just watched him, making sure he didn't try anything on her. A few minutes later, Jesse arrived. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Matt. Want to play Assassin's Creed? No thanks, I'll just watch. You don't want to play video games? Okay, I guess we could do something else. He closed the front door. When he did something, he that pissed me off. He kissed her. I saw her hitting him, trying to get away from him. Seeing that she was pinned against the wall, I jumped out of the computer and pulled him, pulled that ass off of her. Jesse, come here. I asked her in my head and pulled her behind me. She held on to me from behind. I pulled off my head, head, handing it to her. Cover your eyes. With this, she nodded, knowing that I was going to do, going to do something. She covered her eyes with my hat. Matt got up. What the fuck, Jesse? Who's this moron? My eyes, my red eyes grew brighter from more blood streaming down my cheeks, as those seven words. You have met a terrible fate, you, with the blood splurging across the room and over Jessie's clothes. She wanted to take the hat off from in front of her eyes, but I pushed it back over them. No, you don't need to see this gruesome sight. I'll take you home. She nodded. I picked her up walking, walking back home on the sidewalk. I opened the door, kicking it closed behind me. I gently set her down on the couch, went upstairs to change into my new other tunics that I brought with me. She and heading back downstairs. Oh, you okay, Jesse? She gave me back my hat and I looked at I looked herself over. Well, these clothes are oh well, I'm just gonna take a shower anyway. With that she headed upstairs.